note taking and sketch noting is a form of note taking that combines words and drawings to help you deepen your understanding, stay focused, and understand information longer. Since most people think of pictures, it's quite a natural way for us to do our note taking. And honestly, it's not as scary as it may sound. By the end of this video, you're gonna have a better understanding on how to get started in visual note taking or sketch noting, even if you're a beginner. So while I was writing the beginner's guide to sketch noting, I came up with this, what I call a sketch noting process. It's where we take listening, making sense of information and capturing and doing that all at the same time while being grounded and rooted in visual language and our visual vocabulary. Now for the rest of this video, I'm gonna focus on the visual language and visual vocabulary piece of visual note taking because it's truly foundational to getting you started as a beginner. Once you have these foundational elements, then you can focus on your listening skills, your making sense or your synthesizing skills and continue to develop your capture skills through your speed and your own style. Now the foundational drawing elements for visual note taking are as follows. Lettering, lines and arrows, containers, people, and color. I'll spend some time quickly reviewing each one and how they build upon each other. All right, lettering. So capturing information confidently is really foundational to the sketchnoting process. So you might not love your handwriting and that's totally okay. You can develop it over time and improve it, but it's totally optional, especially if you are creating a visual note just for yourself. As long as you can read it at the end of the day, that's all that matters. There are a few things that you can do to improve your handwriting and that is what we call finding your capture speed. So this is where you wanna find that sweet spot between writing quickly but writing legibly. So you can do a little exercise where you write out the alphabet a couple of times in different speeds and different legibilities, if that's a word, and to find that sort of sweet spot for your capture speed. All right, next is lines. So lines are a beautiful first drawing element to play around with, and they're great because they have multiple uses. So you can use lines to connect information to separate information, to show direction or flow of information, and to spark and highlight information. Lines can be as simple as literally drawing a line, or you can jazz it up a bit, like a weavy line, a zigzag line, whatever you'd like. You can also take that line and simply put two little lines at the end and turn it into an arrow and use it in a similar way. All right, next up, we have one of my favorite elements, which are containers. Now a container is basically a line that is enclosed. So it can be a, something as simple as a circle or a square, but ultimately we want to use containers in three main ways. We're gonna use them to group information. You're gonna use them to put uh, a container around information like a subheading or a, like a mini title, or you're gonna use a container to emphasize something. Now, like I said, it can be really simple, just like a circle or square, but you can also use this as an opportunity to start adding in a few more drawing elements, especially if you're using it to emphasize something. Okay, people are really not that scary to draw because basically what you're gonna do, we're gonna take the three things that we just review, a line, a circle and a square, and you're gonna add those three elements together to create a little box person. Now, creating a person in this way is really great because you can easily move their arms and legs around to kind of like show if they're pointing at something or their arms are up, they're excited about something or what have you. I find it really important to incorporate people into your visual notes or your sketch notes because it just adds a lot of humanity into the note. A lot of times you're capturing information about some so adding in that human aspect to it can just kind of make it just feel a little bit more personal. All right, next is color. Now color is totally optional, but it can be fun at the same time. General rule of thumb, if you're not really sure, is three colors plus your main lettering color, which for me is usually like a black or like a dark blue or a dark color. Generally, you might not have a lot of time 
when you are sketchnoting live or you're drawing live. So keeping the number of colors that you use to a minimum can be really helpful because you just literally don't have time to switch back and forth between different colors. All right, a few bonus ones, which are bullets and shadows. Bullets are really great for making lists and also can be something as simple as a circle and a square. You like see a theme here. <laughs> and shadows are really great because you can add them to different, uh, some of the different drawings on there and they really just kind of like help bring things to life a little bit and make things pop off the page a bit more. Now, if you look at most visual notes, like if you just like literally go to Google or go to someone's website and you see a bunch of visual notes or sketch notes, look at them and pick out all of those different elements on it. Chances are you're going to notice that most of them are made up with these things that I just went through lines, different use of containers, little people on it, different use of color. Maybe they have some bullets and some shadows in there, right? So at its core, that's like what makes up generally a visual note or a sketch note. As your confidence grows, you can continue to develop what we call your visual vocabulary, which you've already started by learning all of these essential elements. And you can develop it by learning how to draw different things and different icons and start incorporating those into your visual notes as well. And develop your other skills over time too. Now, don't forget that you have to practice these elements so they become second nature. And don't feel pressured to always have to do everything live as well. I know lots of people who love to do more like traditional note taking and just writing words, and then they use creating visual notes or sketch notes as part of like deepening their learning or as part of their studying process as well. Now, if you want more sketchnoting goodness, check out our recent video, subscribe and like if you can, and I'll see you on the next video.